On season seven, we're going to be just going through the importance and the art of selling. In any business, sales is what is the lifeline to your business and how to really be a great seller. And if you're not a good salesperson, you might want to tune in because I'm going to go over everything that I know about sales and how it's helped me build my company. I know some people are shy. They don't like to sell. But if you're running your company, you have got to sharpen your sales skills if you want to be in business for a long time. Welcome back to the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast with daily on-the-go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship. Hosted by the owner of Fracassi Lashes and the Blow Dry Lounge, the Beauty Boss Millionaire herself, Felicia Fracassi. Welcome to season seven of Beauty Boss Millionaire. Hey, y'all. I am so excited. We have reached 5,000 downloads. I am in shock. You know, originally I just started this wanting to help out the people that I weren't able to talk to on a daily basis. And, you know, I have people that I know from all over the world, from all my stores and different businesses that I always would form a connection, but then I wasn't able to keep in touch with everybody. I mean, I'm talking about maybe a few hundred ladies, but I didn't think I would reach 5,000 downloads. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. The producer, Jazzy T, also thanks you. Jazzy, thank you for sticking by my side. Thank you for everyone that has joined and become a patron member, just donating even the smallest amount helps so we can give scholarships to entrepreneurs that are trying to start a business. We always have prizes. We always have things that we do just to keep everyone going because it can be hard in this whole journey of being an entrepreneur. We've launched a Facebook group for the people that have supported the Beauty Boss Millionaire uh, on Facebook. It's a private group just for people that want to talk and kind of get a little bit more help than just the podcast. If there's something I can do to help out or answer questions, we've created a group for that. Again, this is just for the people that are, you know, sponsoring or just doing something just kind of give a little bit. You know, you give a little bit and we're going to give you a lot. On season seven, we're going to be just going through the importance and the art of selling. In any business, sales is what is the lifeline to your business. So the objective of today's episode is really just going over the importance of sales in a business and how to really be a great seller. I learned that I had the gift of sales when I was probably about 17, 16 or 17. I'd gotten a job selling ADT security systems, knocking on doors, which is so funny because now in day this day and age, I would probably never knock on doors. It's not safe anymore with everything that's going on in the world. But back then, we can knock on a door. You want to pitch your sale of you know why you need the security system. And if I were to sell the system and get them to sign the contract and sign up, I think I was making like $300 a sale. And my brother is the one who told me about the job. And I was like, look, I need this job. I have to pay my way through private girls school, all girls private school. And I need a job that I can kind of make my own schedule. Lo and behold, I got the job doing sales and I was door knocking and signing up people. And I learned that sales is more than just making a sale. There's several steps to being a good salesperson. And that sales job was rewarding because I was able to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. And there's really an art to this whole sales thing. There's an art to how you talk to people. There's an art to how you present things. There's an art to how... You let them feel like they're in control, but you're going to close the sale out. You know, they say always be closing, you know. They say you should know your ABCs, which is always be closing that sale. And a lot of times, if you are a business where it's face-to-face, your company is really going to need to have to know how to do sales. But more importantly, you as a business owner is going to need to know how to sell really well. It's literally saved my company from closing. I only had this, these, this little mouth of mine, these lips that God gave me. To be able to sell. I know some people are shy. They don't like to sell. Sales is not their thing. They tell me when they interview with me. But if you're running your company, you have got to sharpen your sales skills if you want to be in business for a long time. Because what you say and how you present your sale is what is going to sustain your company. Because there are consequences if you're not a good seller. I had a person that came to me for a job and she had her own business previous. This is in Florida. And I asked, you know, why, what happened with your business? She said, well, to be honest with you, I was not a good salesperson. I just thought it was going to work. I thought people were just going to come in the door. You know, I, I stutter with my words. I'm shy. I don't really like to talk a lot. Or I just sometimes think my price is my price. And she ended up closing. I don't want that to be you. There is an art to selling. You have to be able to actively listen 
and ask those fact-finding questions that's going to get you that sale. Because you don't want to come off as this pushy salesperson. That's the worst thing in the world. That'll push people away. And you also don't want to be too quiet where you're not even offering options or offering the best package, the best value, all those things. And at the end, you want to make sure that you're following up with these people because they are going to actually bring you other sales. So we're going to get all into this on this season seven of Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm so excited. I still cannot believe we got to 5,000 downloads. You all are great. Remember to like, share, please subscribe. More importantly, just share it to people. If you know someone that's trying to start a business, you hear about them, send them my link. Take their phone from them, go on the podcast, type it in so they can actually listen in. It's this free information that I'm giving out. I want to make sure that we thrive as a nation, that we thrive as individuals, strong women, women in business, men in business, whoever. I have a lot of guys that listen to me, actually, so I can't even say women anymore. This is going to be a wild ride. The Art of Selling with Beauty Boss Millionaire. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire. Do you have unwanted facial hair or underarm hair? Don't wax, don't tweeze. Stop in for Kasi Lashes and ask for laser hair removal. Six sessions for only $200 for the lip or chin. Bikini and underarm, only $300. For Kasi Lashes in the Gray Small, 225 Lash. All technicians are laser certified and overseen by Dr. Gary's.